Hey guys, if you make videos on YouTube and you also stream on Twitch, then you don't want to miss this video because I'm going to show you how to get your YouTube subscriber alerts on your Twitch stream while you're streaming live on Twitch. So this is going to take like three to four minutes to show y'all. It's going to be super, super easy to set up. It's just going to be like your Twitch stream alerts. Super, super easy. Make sure you watch the video to the entirety. It extremely, extremely helps. So let's go ahead and start the video. Hey guys, before we begin, I am GS Fear. I am a content creator on both YouTube and Twitch dedicated to bringing you the best possible stream tips, tricks, and tutorials to help your stream stand out from all the rest. And if you are interested in watching me on Twitch, whether you need to ask me some questions or if you just want to see some retro video game gameplay, then by all means, I do stream Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays, 8 p.m. EST. So let's go ahead and start with this. What you're going to need to do to get these YouTube sub alerts is go to streamelements.com. Now, chances are, if you use stream elements at all, you're going to kind of have to go up here and log out of your Twitch account on stream elements. It's okay. It's really easy to get back into it. So once you get back to streamelements.com, this page right here, you're going to connect with your YouTube. Now, once you click that, it's going to walk you through it. You're going to have to connect your uh, either your Gmail or whatever email you use for your actual YouTube account. So once you do that, you are going to be brought up to this page right here. Now, you're just going to come over to the My Overlays, and then you're going to create a blank overlay. Now, name it whatever you want to name it. It doesn't matter. You don't... It, you honestly, you just you, you can name it whatever you want. I have mine subscribers on YouTube. And then after that, you hit Edit. And it's going to bring you to this page. You're going to come down to the bottom. Touch the Alerts. Add an Alert box right here. And then double-click on that. Hit the settings button and then come over to the subscriber. Now, if you are a partner on YouTube and you do get regular members or if you get super chats while you're offline, I don't know how that works exactly with the streaming on YouTube. But if you do have those all enabled, then by all means, enable these. But I only have the subscribers, so I have that checked. And then go to the cog wheel. This is basically going to edit the YouTube alerts that you have. So you can set whatever image you want. You could change the video. You can upload a sound. You can clear the sound if you don't even want a sound at all when you get an alert. So after you set all this up, you can change the alert message. This is all kind of standard stuff if you are any way familiar with stream elements. So I'm just going to turn this off preview live on stream and then click the subscriber event. So pre 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 I don't even know how to pronounce that. Either way, subscribe to the YouTube channel. So what this is going to do, when you add this to your OBS, your Streamlabs OBS or OBS Live, it's going to bring up an alert, just like if you get a follow on Twitch. So after you get this all how you like it, you are going to come over here and save it. Should say it on the bottom, saving. And then copy the overlay URL. So once you do that, you're going to come over to the OBS, Streamlabs OBS, or OBS Live. And then you're going to be met with, obviously, the OBS page. So then we're going to come down here to the browser source. Add a browser source. Name it whatever you want. And then just... Just add it whatever URL you just copied the overlay URL of. So boom hit OK with it and that's all you really have to do. Now I'm not going to turn mine on just because I already have one set up. So I'm going to come back over to the other page, the YouTube sub alerts, and then I'm just going to emulate it preview live on stream. So what that's going to do is it's going to show it right here on the top left of the screen. Now you can move this however you want to. If you want it to be in the middle of the screen. I hope this video helped you guys. Let me know in the comments if this video did help you. Let me know in the comments what video you want to see next. And most importantly, if you are brand new to the channel and you want to see more stream tips, tricks, and tutorials to help your stream stand out, then by all means, hit that subscribe button, the notification ding ding, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.